Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to The Wolf Den in the raw, an experimental, uncut, and unedited, totally naked, pre-recorded, bonus, bonus footage of me building and furnishing new homes in the Wolf Den town. Welcome back, good morning, and welcome back to One Wolf in the Raw, building something really large. Still haven't uh, announced what it is yet until I actually get the roof on it. I will let you guys know then. Uh, hopefully, it's not too far away. But in the last episode we left off, I just had an idea, just had a thought that I was going to try something. So, what I'm going to do is try to make a little arch out of this. Just like that, I believe. Yeah, that should work just fine like that. Let me find my ladder. I probably should mark the ladder with a couple of torches. So that I know where it's at. Just like that. That says, hey, that's where the, uh, the little ladder is. So that I can get up and down. Um, I think I have enough wood. But what I am going to do is deposit some of the drops that I picked up. Uh, Gunpowder and that and that. And then make at least another stack of torches. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I'm going to start sneezing. There we go. Okay, got the wood. Let's put that wood back. Let's make. Oops. I'm gonna go like this. And we'll do it again. Okay. Hopefully, that's enough wood and torches for the next section that I'm gonna work on. And hopefully, I can get it finished in the next episode, or in this episode. And then I'm going to call it a night, because it's a little bit after 11 o'clock at night. Still, January 4th, 2012. 2012. It's supposed to be the end of the world, but what happened there? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the Mayans got it wrong. Wow, I completely made a mistake. It's actually July 14th, not January. I am really sleepy right now. And my nose is getting the better of me. So, we'll see how, how much longer I can hang in here. Both nose-wise and consciously. <laughs> falling asleep in the last raw series I only made it 10 episodes so this one we're up to 17 this is part 17 and I'm putting in the second floor here I'm trying to make it exact an exact copy of that one over there I'm not sure how much interior work I'm going to do on this particular building. Um, I, I want to get the, the exterior done first. And then I'll try and figure out what to put on the inside 
um, as I was building that building in the last series of raw episodes I was able to put in the uh, furniture as I went but this one might be a little bit harder since it's a large castle type building though it's not actually a castle castle it's in the renaissance era era <laughs> renaissance era somewhere between the building of castles and i don't know what came came after that um skyscrapers <laughs> no it's definitely i mean it's definitely between uh skyscrapers but it's buildings that they started building early on in the Renaissance very large structures still made of stone um, stone and wood And it's about the time that they started to they started to figure out how to build domes. I believe the Romans knew how to build domes long before that. This is a, a structure with the large vaulted arched. There should be some arches in this building as well. I'm not sure how I'm going to construct them, seeing as they are crisscrossing arches near the ceiling. So I'm gonna have to figure out some way to do that. Mm. How am I going to do this? I guess I'll just fill it in as I go. Um, what I'm concerned with is how I'm going to fill in this empty space here. Um, oh, man. Did it again? I fell down again. <laughs> yeah, in this particular game, you can't place blocks in midair. You can't just say, hey, I want to... Uh, and again, I fell down. That's twice. It's definitely late. It's definitely sleepy. Um, so what I was saying is that they started to build more arches and domes in their in their construction. Um, prior to the industrial age where they started building iron buildings they were still using stone stone and wood uh, they were using a lot of wood to support the stone so arches and domes became easier to construct I don't like that one over there. So, oh uh, boy, I missed. And that's what these center columns were meant for, is, is actually to hold up 
the C-Link. Um, I'm not sure what kind of roof I'm going to put on this yet. I had originally considered putting in a uh, just a standard roof like this one over here. But now that I think about it, I might try and do something more arched. But I'm not going to be able to do it with this, the stairs. I mean, I could probably make an arch out of stairs, but I will have to experiment with that to find out if I can actually get away with that kind of a shape. run all the way back over here and start the next row before I run out of wood. But yeah, this this building is definitely going to be quite a bit larger than the uh, than the library is. Um, the library is also a three-story building. In fact, I think this is only slightly larger than the library. But the library, um, the second and third floor are my standard three-high room. Um, Three high floors. The first, the first floor, isn't actually a floor. It's elevated quite a bit. So it kind of makes the uh, the library look like it's almost floating on those pillars. It's on stilts. That's what it is. Second, the second floor of this building is definitely going to be quite large um, because I'm going to need at least enough space to make these windows taller than they are wide. So I was thinking um, six, make it six high. And that's it for that amount of wood. Let's try another set. Hopefully I don't have to go back and get some more. Oops. Getting quite sleepy here and running out of things to say. So I'm just trying to quickly wrap up this floor. And I think I will call it a night. Maybe try recording a little bit more, but I've also got to go do my laundry. I don't have any device or way of doing it here. I mean, I could probably wash it in the sink and dry it out, but I actually wear business attire when I go to work. Um, sometimes I actually wear a tie, too. 
Um, usually if I'm wearing a plain white shirt, I'll throw on a tie with it, but most of my shirts are bluish, <laughs> somewhat blue. Um, I have one that's kind of purple, I guess. Um, but most of them are blue or blue with some white stripes in it. Some white striping just to keep it uh, from being too similar. Like I've got three plain blue shirts so I've got to go wash all of that. But planning on doing that tomorrow morning. Have to drive into town and do my laundry. But if I get in there early enough should still have enough time to come back and do some recording before it gets too hot. I think it usually takes about two hours to wash and dry everything. And that's where I'm going to stop here. Let's see if we can put some torches down. Just to keep some the baddies away while I'm working on everything else. Ah, two pieces of wood left. How interesting. Where's the moon at? Oh, it's still pretty high. I think I got about three or four minutes left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry for the uh, counting, but I'm definitely not able to talk and count at the same time. At least I'm trying to talk and count at the same time. And the count is way off, I can tell. Oh, because I was basing it off of uh, the wrong starting point. That's why. Yeah. What the heck? Okay, torch goes there. Torch there. Torch there. there. Ugh! Get back. What the heck did he drop? Oh, he dropped a helmet. Isn't that nice? Oh boy. <laughs> that was scary. Turn around and don't know. There's a... Oh, hey. You guys can see it now. There's actually two spider textures instead of just straight black there's the black and the brown one let me get this guy too probably could have waited for the sun to come up but okay now to go back to fixing the torches
hear Millie barking again. Okay, that's the torches for this row. And the moon's going down, the sun's coming up. It's the end of another episode. Thanks a lot for sticking it out this long. Episode 17, that's the end. This is One Wolf saying thanks for watching, and see you later.